the first build tends to take about a week as it's almost like the creation of uh, a very, very sophisticated jigsaw puzzle that all the components have to be planned and it all comes together within about a week. We would consider the chassis tub, the part the driver sits in, as the big bracket and everything else bolts onto that. So we make five chassis, two race cars, one for each driver. We have a spare that goes to every race in a state of disassembly, which is an FIA regulation. And then we have two test cars. And at any point, those test car chassis can be in the factory having new updates added to them. We use a variety of machines to inspect with from X-ray to NDT or non-destructive testing where we can ultrasound a component or x-ray a component without actually having to break it to prove it's strong enough. We use CNNs or coordinate measuring machines which are a computer controlled incredibly precise measuring machine and even handheld machines that, that use a, a measuring device by laser so I can walk around a car and probe the car with a Leica machine. And, and establish its size and how well it's been put together without even having to touch it with a, a, a machine tool. So um, we use quite a wide variety of inspection equipment, again, really to 100% inspect everything. The inspection department do a phenomenal job because they have a huge throughput of components, almost 6,500 components are on any single car and they're constantly evolving and, and changing and all of those components have to be inspected, have to be signed off. So. Um, you know, the guys and girls here do an unbelievable job in the throughput, you know, of components that are, that are measured to microns um, to ensure that their fit is exactly as per the drawing. If you look at the areas within, within this company, and I dare say within our competitors too, each and every part of it is a necessary and vital step to realising the car or two cars put on the grid for each and every race. If we took any one of those departments out, then we wouldn't get the cars to the grid. So each and every step we follow has to be there, and each and every stage is therefore vital, and that's how we put the car together.